Welcome to Movie Cigars and a Brew. I'm your host, Keith, and with me tonight is my beautiful co-host in life, Amanda. She's uh, beaming with uh, radiance and glory over there. Are you not? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And tonight we're going to uh, talk about a movie we saw together very recently. It's a movie from 2014, Chef. It uh, was directed by uh, John Favreau. Uh, uh, um, he's he's sort of like of indie fame. He's done a lot of indie movies, um, and he had a li- actually uh, one of the interesting things about John Favreau is his his he got a start on Seinfeld. I don't know if you know that. You didn't know that? No. Why? Well, I- he was like the chuckling clown in like 1989, and he did a whole bunch of other things. He was a real big friend with um, um, Vince Vaughn. They were like, oh. they were. Yeah, I think I do. I do remember seeing him on there. Yeah. So I, that was where his start came from. But he he um, he basically became real good friends with Vince Vaughn, and they did a movie. They did several movies together because at this point, Vince Vaughn's got his own production company, um, and. To some extent, uh, you know, um, you know, John Favreau's got kind of a lot of, you know, clout with different people as well because he's been a director for several movies that were fairly successful. One of them being Elf. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I mean, and that's become, uh, you know, pretty much a, um, you know, a a staple of the holiday season. But it's my um, favorite. I know it's everybody's I'm sorry, favorite. my chair is squeaky. Yeah, you got I the know, squeaky chair came, tonight. I know, I know. You wanted the squeaky chair tonight. What's well, more comfortable? Uh, it just it makes is. a lot of noise. It does. Um, so, you know, so he had uh, so the movie that he was in with uh, Vince Vaughn, one of his first ones, was Swingers. That was from like nineteen ninety eight. I don't think I saw it. I, I didn't either, but I know it was a big movie for him. Wait, maybe I did with like the four different couples. I couldn't yeah, tell I you. It probably I is, I but it was. It was. It was like I think it was 1998 that movie yeah, came out. I think so, I did see it. Um, so essentially, you know, that's the uh, you know where where um, where he came from. But there's a lot of big people in this movie because there's there's a thing about him. He's because of his clout. This is an indie movie, and he has like John Legu- Leguizamo. I like him. You know, and he's uh, like 50 years old at this point, and he's done a bunch of uh, cool things. And then my favorite person is in here, uh, Scarlett oh. Johansson. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm a big fan of Scarlett Johansson. Oh, Johnson. yeah, I know. What's the number? Uh, 754. And I'm not even, well, we're not doing uh, numbers. That's one of your weird things. We're well, not going to do it. nobody else has to understand it. It's fine. No, <laughs> nobody is going to understand it. That's fine. Even, even if you tried to explain it to people, nobody would uh, understand well, your gonna, number. It's thing. fine. I, I, I just. Basically living with Clarifying. a person. What was that movie uh, with? Uh, I don't know where they had, they had ghost. The, no, not ghost. <laughs> no, it was one of the movies about where they were doing numbers and. Wasn't it be, called Numbers with Sandra yeah, Bullock? No, no, no. I don't even know what you're talking about now. Well, you're what are you talking up. about? I don't know. There was a movie about a guy that was kind of like wacko, and he had a thing for numbers, and he he was trying to find meaning in numbers all over the place. You could have written a book. I, I did write a book. No, that book. You could have written that in that movie. Not and... Bruce Willis. Was it? Oh God, no. Never I mind. I don't know. I, I'll have to look it up later. But but Sandra Bullock was in a movie called Numbers with the with the e backwards, like a three, wasn't she? I don't. That could very well be. It's not one that I remember specifically, but mm. uh, you could very well be right. But anyway. So, but in the anyway, this movie. <clears throat> um, well, what it's about essentially is is there's uh, um, uh, John plays a part in in this movie where he is a chef in a restaurant that um, is well known in in its area, um, and it has a critic that comes in that basically gives him a very bad review. Um, it's somebody that used to like him before, but now he's sort of gotten complacent and. Uh, his boss, who's Dustin no, Hoffman. No, he didn't get... He wanted to do something different, and his boss wouldn't let him. So he didn't get complacent. He had the whole menu planned differently, but he well, wasn't allowed to do it. No, but he had the menu planned for that one night because right. this 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 one major critic, who's played by Oliver Pratt, and Oliver Pratt's brother in real life is an actual critic in New York City. 
I, I don't know. I'm just no, saying. I'm just t- it, I, I don't agree with you by saying when you say he got complacent because he wanted to do different things, but the guy wouldn't let him. Well, he wouldn't let him in that one instance. I mean, the, the real essence is that he um, no longer uh, had. He wasn't doing it for the past whatever number of years. It wasn't like suddenly. Yeah, but they don't really say if that was because of him or because they don't. They don't really. Uh, but why didn't he challenge his boss on every night? The boss was his boss was <laughs> Dustin Hoffman's telling him, "Well, you know, this is what we do, and this is what the guy's coming to review. Let's give him our best hits that that everybody's experiencing because this is what people come to experience in the in the in the you know in our restaurant and i i kind of get that and i understand he wanted to innovate um <clears throat> the real thing to me was this movie was sort of a non-standard because at that point there's the movie co- kind of moves into this whole like backstory where it's really about him and his son sorry no that's quite right it's all about him and his son are and you turning me down no, I think I've got too much. I got too much. Every ampli- time I move, it just it does that. I well, I, I I was hearing a little bit of echo. That's the reason why I turned. Oh, some fine. Sounds. As long as it's not because of the chair, because I no, can't the, help it. The, if the I just turn fine. a little bit. Oh, you, you would you do? Would it. you stop doing? Would you stop doing that stuff with that chair over there? What's yeah, going on with you? That's not cool. <laughs> at all. No, <clears throat> I'm trying to stay on task here, and you're like I know, all over the board. You're kicking my chair. Yeah, to, to keep you on task. No, to make me squeak. But I think you turned my volume down so low, no one can hear anything I say anymore. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> I was just trying. I, 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 I kept like hearing it. Whisper echo. in the background. <laughs> That's me. Her? That's me. Because she fell asleep. She has headphones on, and she didn't know what to do. I get it. I'm on to your game. You're fine. Mm-hmm. I was just adjusting. I'm trying to adjust the things where I'm not. I, I thought I was hearing my own voice in my head, and I think I had the the earphones up too much. All right. That's I carry all. on. No, I don't even know where I was because I you stopped either. me. So what was so I talking about? Point, no, no, it took that, a turn. Well, it took a turn. I mean, well, here's the thing: the movie kind of goes into this whole thing, and, and you'll kind of love this because you know that uh, I, 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 I'm in that world, and you are now too. As a matter of fact, it's the Twitter world. He has this little, little. Oh, the, no, no, don't, he, no. He mm-hmm. has this. He has this huh. Twitter rant with. The fil- the the food critic, right? Mm-hmm. Well, not purposely. He he gives him a poor review, and then the son really signs him up. I mean, no, somebody more, somebody the, somebody the, signed him like up. Eight, ten, twelve. He knows more about it than but your than kids know more about Instagram yes, than you do. do. Yeah, yeah, they do. So they do. You you have no clue. I'm just saying he he wasn't <laughs> in the. I mean, he had to kind of learn by. Well, well, he he actually sends a tweet by accident. He 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 sends it. He he thought he was because he did it. He did an at somebody, and he thought that when he did at somebody, it was in private. Right. But it went to everybody, and it became a viral thing. And then he kind of you know after the poor review, <clears throat> after the poor review, and he challenges him to come back into the into the place. Uh, you know, and 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 taste what he really wanted to do, and then cooks a whole amazing meal. That he doesn't get, even give him. Right. Well, well I was because really, he got fired. Really, really, you know? really hoping he. Would, but then he went home and cooked, it, and I was really hoping he was going to be able yeah, to show you him know? that. You know, but so you don't even. We won't even go into what happens in the end. But I mean, we're the, not the, even the, at the end. We're far from the end. No, I know, but there's a tie-in that that sort of ties yeah, back true. in at the end. So, but um, the real thing is, is so he he gets fired. He basically, or, or, no, or he, he, he sort much, of walks out. He sunk his own ship. Yeah, he sort of walked out. But yeah. it was all related to his tweet. And there's a little bit of. Well, no, it wasn't related to the tweet because the guy said, all right, he's coming back in. You can either do this or you can go. And so he says, fine, let's go. And he says to the other guy, let's go. This and whole, the but, but like, the whole, uh, the whole second thing happened. Because of the tweet and him continuing the cha- saying challenges, he, right, guy. saying he was going to cook something different, come back in. The point was, it was about the, the tweet, boss, right? But the jerk boss wouldn't let him. Dustin Hoffman played a very good role as an as a, as a jerk in this particular movie. As a jerk, yeah. But I mean, he's John Favreau has some clout. He brings in Dustin Hoffman. He's got Scarlett Johansson in sort of a bit part, working as a. A wine connoisseur type of person in this thing even has Robert Downey Jr., which is no surprise because John Favreau um, was involved with the Iron Man movies and plays his chauffeur 
in the three Iron Man movies as a part of the Marvel scene. And I, I don't know if, if how much how much he you know it was a real small part. It was Very a small, small. It was a small part, but he he called in favors to friends. This is an indie movie with tons of mm-hmm. like known people. You know what I mean? It's it's not like uh, he didn't go out and and just get random people to do this movie. He he had a you know he had somebody that uh, he, he, it's all like a list people. I mean, half of them are a list people that are in this movie. Yeah. You know, so you know, so you got John, you got John Leguizamo, you got who was the second? I, and I love him, but who Carnival? Was the other guy? Like Carnival was the other guy that the was other in chef? The, the other chef that's kind of stayed. Yeah, that took his place. Um, yeah, he's got kind of a weird background. I uh, like him too, but but yeah, uh, I don't. John he hasn't been him. in a ton of things, but he he's got I don't sort even of that. Know what he was in? Uh, he was in several things, and you're going to challenge no, you me on no, it. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to click. I will say that I'll the, click the, a couple the things. Food okay. review guy it, that bothered me through the whole movie, and you didn't know where he was from. The Big C. He was the husband in the Big C, and that bothered. What me. is the Big C? I, I forget. I don't even know what the Big C is. It was a Showtime series. The Big C. Um, it's, at, it's over. It started and finished. Yeah, there it is. The Big C. It was from 2010 was to 2010. It was a, it was yeah, a you're a Showtime series. person. It was a great series. Yeah, but he's the one that has the brother that's an actual uh, uh, food critic. And and here's the other thing. Uh, so so the movie sort of descends and and the backstory that sort of develops. I mean, that's like the main opening uh, opus in this movie. But then you kind of d- delve into this thing where you know he's sort of really down on his luck. He is, um, you know, uh, without a job. And he had this thing with um, opening up a food truck, you know, uh, that was kind of mentioned to him before. The ex-wife. The ex-wife, the ex-wife was saying because they, I guess she had met him down in Miami and he got a start in Miami. And so she invited him to come down and kind of be a nanny, nanny to their son that they had together. They were estranged at this point. Um, and you know, they kind of said, well, why don't you kind of look at the food truck idea? And apparently, um, John, uh, um, John Favreau's, uh, 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 was the second, um, uh, husband to her. The first husband was Robert Downey Jr. And he had a ton of money and he was going to back him with this truck, but he brings out this old dilapidated truck and stuff. And, 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 and then the story sort of delves into this thing where, um, you know, basically, it's about father son relationship a little bit and friend, more of a and friend, and yeah, you know, yeah, the, the people that stood and, by him in life. Yeah, and, and and it was sort of weird because you go through this era and, and you're kind of riding along pretty much. There was funny moments in it with funny things that he said to different people. It was really just sort of a vehicle for making some sort of funny comments, having he's, some great food. You know, you could see powder on his nuts. Uh, I mean, yeah, there was there was there was there were some, some real good lines and there were some balls. things that they were balls. It's nuts, not yeah, nuts. It was balls. It wasn't his. N- he woke he woke him up and said, "Dad, Dad, he's he's putting powder on his balls." <laughs> and then they it was all corn did it. Starch hey, or something. It they good. all did it, it was together. Good. It was good. There was some good parts in there. She's she's and Amanda's referring to a particular uh, little segment well, there. Where see was, it. it was funny. Everybody's gonna see it. It's good. But here's the overall thing. Like when you look at the story construction, there was it wasn't a classic story in the sense that the way the way that I kind of looked at because I wanted to look at it like to, in, in totality at the end of it. It's sort of a story where you it's like you ate a meal. You know, it wasn't bad. It really you know it was it was a decent meal. You kind of went through and you had your you know one serving of this and a serving of that. But there was there was just no real tension in this movie. No, and you know what? I kept waiting for the whole time when he got this when when he bought the. Are we going to do a spoiler? We're going to do a spoiler here. Well, it's not really a spoiler. Okay. Although someone else could think along the same lines as me, but I kept waiting for when he bought him that knife. Remember when they got stuff for the truck? Oh, I was sure that there there was a moment. Yeah, the son ended up working with him on this truck, and basically the truck goes through. It's a food um, truck. It's a food truck. Yeah, but he they gets were a food truck. From Miami back to yeah. California, all, is that where they were? Right. So, so all of like the classic, you know, trips that you thought they were gonna, like the little, you know, sub stories that they were going to get into, they didn't. It just there was no like, 
it and was really I loved just it. About success. That's it, all. It was. About it was, it was sort of success. like an uplifting movie that there was no sort of like there and was maybe no climax. Right, because there was no sort of like tension. It was not like usually in the second act well, there's my the point, turn. But, but you kind of got away from my point. And my point, and maybe this is a spoiler, so don't listen if you don't want to. But I really thought that that was going to be. Yeah, he gives he gives he his son and you his know, son it'd be works like a with him. Turning point in his life, and my son's going to die because he cut his hand off with this sharp knife that I bought him. No, never this was not a. This was more about but the love of food. But did you think when they no. when he bought him that and there was he got a, to respect the knife and he had to, I, yeah no I agree with you because there was there was a whole bunch of moments where there was there was things that you kind of go all right well they're going to go into a sub story on this and then we're all going to learn from it. But they didn't. They, I don't think I really learned anything from this movie. Well, I did. I learned that him and his son grew immensely from traveling halfway across the country together, and and strengthened <laughs> their bond and their relationship. But they didn't and... do it in a classical sense where there was this big like fallout. There no, was no fallout. They did it, and he was at the rock bottom of his life, and he he, he allowed his son to come on the journey, and it it made him the. A, a better person, uh, and I, I I agree with you, but there was no like you, you, this. I always say the word, but it's it wasn't formulaic. It wasn't like you had here's the good part, we have fun, and then there's something really bad that happens, and then he goes, oh, right. he goes, which is what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, with there the was knife. No, right. I mean, there was. You're right. It's the same motif. The whole thing. There was never that moment where you go, oh, I thought the movie was going to be. You know this, and 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 now suddenly he realizes his mistakes, and he he you know does a oh, thing. I think he think he does a little bit, a little bit, reflecting on the wife constant or the ex wife constantly saying, "You should do the food truck," and then he he finally. Yeah, but that was sort of ancillary. Everything was sort of like ah, uh, he had no was choice. That was... He had no choice, and 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 the, I guess the surprising part that you could you could you could list as a surprising part is that uh, John um, comes. Luguazamo, his character, mm -hmm. he comes and says, uh, as soon as you told me you had something, I'm there. I told you I'd be there. Yeah, yeah, you know, and so he ends up doing that. So that part of it sort of really, you know, made sense. In that it was aspect. about bonding. I think it was, there was a lot it about was. bonding. But there was a lot about food. And, That's the other thing. The well, foodies, the well, foodies the are going to love this movie. The guy was a great cook. Yeah, I mean, the food, and, and, the, and the interesting thing is, is, uh, um, uh, he went and studied with a guy named Roy oh, Troy. It yeah, it shows it at the end. Remember yeah. the grilled cheese that he made that yeah. looked like it was enough cheese to like clog all yeah, the I know he did. He had some... in, in the whole the, you know in, uh, neighborhood. At the very end, and I don't think you saw it. He the, there's a, a professional chef that comes on and shows him how to make that. That's with like six different kinds of cheese. That's, and, that's Roy Choi, and, and, exactly and what how and to what cook they each side and so they take a trip to take. I, I forget where they lived. They lived out somewhere west. They had to have because they went west when they left because they, they went down to California. Miami. Okay, so well, it's positive it was California. Probably I had they went to, to Florida. So they flew to Florida. They pick up the truck and they start driving back. And they stopped at all Texas. these places and they used all Louisiana of the, and Texas. Yeah, because Louisiana member because. He promised this kid they would go there, and then they did on the way back. Yeah. Um, oh, then, the New Orleans. Yeah, he wanted to go New to New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah, and then Texas. Yeah, but but they did all different places because yeah. the whole idea but was the ones they, they concentrated on yeah. were South Beach, yeah, New Orleans, Texas, and then. But, did I just drop my microphone? <laughs> no, you dropped your phone. <laughs> that was yeah. your phone. <laughs> all right, just wanted to make sure you didn't. Because no. you would have yelled at me. No, I didn't. you didn't what, see what? that. I don't know. I just I was you? trying to hide it. Hmm. <laughs> it's your phone. Just don't wheel over it. I'm not gonna. I'm not moving. I don't. I'm trying to be really still. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to get blamed for anything. I, I'm, they're they're thinking that you're like a beaten woman sitting over here. I'm battered, and I, you're gonna make lots of squeaks. Yeah. Oh, now look when I want it to happen, it doesn't. I know that's how it works. It's only when I don't want it to, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. anyway, no. So what I was going to say was the, the the guy that comes out, John Favreau and him actually have gone in together a little bit, and they've created that. You know, it was like El Jefe truck, is what it was. Yeah. El Jefe, J E F E. Yeah. With the, with the rims. So, yeah, with the with the rims. So so they've actually opened up these little stands across, and they've made a thing where I think they kind of drive through now because it's, well, not stands. They they just open the food truck at certain hot spots. 
Right, but I think they actually move through. I said, it and I, you know what? Like, I also thought, I also thought there was going to be a problem with the cop. Remember the cop that gets on? I think I also that, was, that could have turned, but it. I probably shouldn't I, say. I, but. No, no. I mean, like the, that's what I'm saying. There was there was many moments in the movie that you, you thought, thought they were going to. Yeah, they just didn't. Just didn't pan out. None of it did. So, um, so the movie was both mostly about food. And Twitter. There was a lot of Twitter in it this. It was definitely there was a, there was, Twitter. It was a lot of definitely. Twitter in this movie. Yeah. And, um, and then there was this sort of relationship it thing. Was but but it was light. father and son. No, but it was light. No, I thought it was. No, no because it was the light. son felt. No, I don't think so at all. I don't think it was light. I think, I mean, it wasn't overly emotional where it was tear. Well, so well, I'm saying he was. A little bit. But, you know, the son was definitely. Fe- you could tell that he felt. It's, not connected in the beginning. And I didn't he feel was connected to the constantly characters. Working, and then the two of them by the end of the movie, you know, you could tell that it was a completely changed relationship with a different appreciation on both ends. <laughs> I, I agree, but I still think there was there was a there was a the movie was a little detached on the emotional level. They added in the emotional stuff, but it just wasn't it wasn't quite connected in the way that we normally see in these type of movies because of the. The, the, just the construct of the narrative. That's as far as I... Yeah, you know. it wasn't a tearjerker no. I, it, at all. But it, I think there was still an emotional element to it that... Maybe it was more akin to real life. Maybe it was more akin to real life in that it, essence. It, it was. Because it's usually not this it's, one great I think moment. it spoke to a parent, yeah. certainly, especially a parent who works a lot and maybe isn't... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's a nurse or something. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> So I should get a food truck and take my kids across the country. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Because I can't cook. So that would be a problem. That would be a problem. (laughs) That would be a real problem. And the other thing you could make is like grilled cheese and maybe a quesadilla. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Can we we throw a microwave in here? We can do big CD. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Cheese sticks. So, all right. So at the end of this, what did you you think about this movie? I thought it was a good movie. You did? I did. You liked it? Yeah, I, yeah. I thought it was good. I thought it, I, it was. Did good. you like it better than the beer that I just gave you a few minutes ago? This is the one that you taste. You want to taste it again? No, it's, it's gross. Oh. It's gross. It's it's, not gross. it's dark brown. It's gross. It's gross. I thought it was. Um, it's a Bell's cherry. I style. thought it was it's not that bad. Lightly heartwarming. The movie, not the beer. Hmm. I thought it was. Um, it was uplifting, and I thought it would be a little bit more funny. Than it was. I mean, there was funny parts, but I, I, I specifically chose it because I really wanted to just n- not think and just watch something that would be funny, funny. And it was not funny, funny. There was no, no it was, Ace it Ventura. Wasn't, no, it wasn't a comedy. I mean, sort of I was thought a comedy. It, 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 kind of it was a comedy that. drama. It, it was a comedy drama type. You know, mm-hmm. it was. It wasn't. It wasn't to me anyway. It wasn't uh, straight up comedy. No, there was but funny I kind of expected moments that. of it. And and you know because it's an, it was indie they kind of done they really had a different oh, I don't know the difference between indie and not indie and American and I, I don't know Cherokee are there Cherokee movies I I think well I think like this was Indians? his movie I think you I think I you, you you're just not even listening are you American and Cherokee like no I, I indie, ignore, I'm ignoring all of that Chinese. Oh dear! God. I mean, I don't even know what you, we're going mean, to. We're going to have to give out your your Twitter so you can get the hate mail <laughs> off of off no. of your portrayals hey, of everybody. people. I'm just saying, like, what's indie? I don't even. Is it that for Ind- Indian? Independ- independent? Indian? Indi- like, <laughs> see, that's that's probably not PC. <laughs> that's probably not PC. Well, I don't know. No, I'm not saying it out of ignorance. I'm no, no, no. It, you're saying it directly out of ignorance. Well, not the same ignorance that you're talking about. No, I'm no, talking... no. But it's, ignorance is, means lack no. of knowledge. All right. So lack, from a lack of knowledge standpoint, yes. Uh-huh. I didn't say stupidity. Now, there's a difference between ignorance and stupidity. Uh-huh. Stupidity is you just really have dumb thoughts. Right. So right. ignorance ignorance is you just don't know anything. Right. I think it's more about ignorance than stupidity. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what, I have but relati- it could be a little bit I of both. I have relatives that are like American Indians, so they will forgive me. I, I have relatives that are American Indians. All right, Indians so as well. we're all good. The, the Indies. No. The no, Indies. No, my, my family, Indi- my family, my family's not very happy. I talked to them. They're not very happy I about it. I don't, I don't, your family's all dead. No. A thing that you just did before, the oh, whoa, 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 thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, they're not very happy about that. They already, they've already they already texted me. They tweeted me just a few minutes ago. They're not happy about it. Because you do get a lot of tweets. I do. Tweets. 
So, uh, but the, the thing with tweet. indies, it's like Baskin Robin, tweet. indie, tweet. indie means is that Baskin Robin, independent film, which is usually backed uh. by somebody independently, and they don't have oh. a movie house. Indies for independent. Yes, oh. I tried to tell you that seven that times. Nothing to do with the Indians. Not, not a thing. Huh? You're less ignorant now. How about that? Ignorance yes. is bliss. Um, I don't know. So Whatever it was. Uh, so That's anyway, so you said that you liked it, and what's your grade? What's your grade for the movie? I don't know. The last time you changed that up on me, I changed you were up. like it's it's an A through F. I, I don't. What's your grading system this time? Because I I didn't change, change it up. up. I didn't change no, it up did. at all. You did because because uh, A wasn't good and F was. I, and I I'm never used to get, like I got A's. I in never school. I never told you that ever. Ever. Yes, you did. We will. I swear to God, I will make you dig the last one out and replay it because you're like, oh yeah, I guess I can see what you're saying. Okay, look. Do, how you, about we just do a, a, like a one to five? No, pretend like you're in school. What grade did you give it? It's not a fraction, so it shouldn't confuse you that much. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm saying <laughs> give me four fifths of your number <laughs> and tell me what you think that means. <laughs> I give it a B, which would kind of be like four fifths. Kind of, yeah. Look at that. You know, if, if you're you, going you, on an F scale, an A through F scale, it's four fifths. What does really. four fifths equate to? <clears throat> <laughs> like numerically. A B. No, I'm talking about the number, the decimal point. Point four. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on. Four fifths wouldn't yeah. even be if if F is the worst. Four fifths wouldn't even be a B, right? Because that would be almost an F. So it would be two fifths would be a B if we're going through if we're going A through F, right? You know, because you would, A would be you, one you, fifth. Wait a minute. Oh wait Jesus, minute. I'm so confused. Wait, no, I think. Uh, I don't know how. Wait, I, no, I don't just, know how I'm a nurse. Wait, wait, I like graduated with a four point. Wait, just 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 tell me if an A is one. Mm-hmm. And an F is five. One fifth would be an A, correct? Well, let me ask so you a question. Wait, would be a when D. you when you were when you were in school, at what point did you get an F? Do you remember? I've never gotten an F. Never, never, never. I I, I graduated with four you know, I, I was valedictorian and you know of what, my you class. Know, I was the valedictorian of my class. You know. Sometime we're going to talk about the demise of the American education system. But we're not going to do it tonight. But here's here's the thing. But wouldn't an A be one fifth? If A is five. Okay. So so can't you just tell me? So like an F would be five wait, fifths. Wait, one fifth is equal to what percent? One. One fifth is equal to one. It would be one percent of five. So point one. What one percent of five? Point one. Okay, what's what's five divided into one? Point one five point five one two. <laughs> point. Do we, do you really want to continue on with this? Because this is as comical as this is. I don't know that we want to continue on with this. Is it Pi Day? We gotta turn this off now. <laughs> we have to erase, erase, <laughs> eject, eject, abort the mission. Jesus, where's the code hanger? Oh my god! I, all I wanted you to get, do is give me a, a great, and, and then I said fractions, and you went off on all this stuff. I know. All I wanted to know is. I, but I, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it back in and say I that I give it a B. I gave it a B as well. All right. And it was a B hey. just because it was just it was an okay movie. It was, it was fun. It was a fun ride. But this whole fraction, I think I had more enjoyment, though, out of talking to you about fractions, though. I give it an 80%. <laughs> Is that right? <coughs> Is that better? Oh, God. I don't that's know. That's better, isn't I can't, it? I can't take any more of this. That's better. I really can't. Because that's correct. I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I mean, it be, would be 20%, right? Yeah, it'd be 20%. Okay, so I, I'm on. I'm on. I got 20%. It. I'm on my game now. Did are you, do you really know what you're saying to me? Twenty percent. Well, a ninety would be ten percent, and a twenty would be a B. A so ninety, be 80%. A, ni- a ninety, darling. 90. Well, when I got nineties in school, it was 
I don't know. Just forget it. I, I give it a B. <laughs> a B is in boy. Wait, wait, wait. I just have to go back. This, this kills <laughs> don't, me. Don't, it, don't. Your blind spot just makes me, <laughs> just, just kills me. 90. You know what? Can when, you save a life? Because I can. When, I can. Just as long as you don't have to can, fucking figure out a, a fraction of how much you got to give me. You know, the bad thing is I do all the time and I do it perfectly. It's just I cannot do it. This way, like when it comes so, to this. But I just want to let you know that when um, when you get a 90, it's 90 out of 100. I know it is. Which is 90%, not 10%. I know. That's you, what I just tried to say. So a B would be 80%, right? You just said a B was 20%. Oh, that I mistakenly said that. Cause I, I can replay what you well, said. We can. I thought I said 80%. And a... And a a was 90, and a B was 80, oh, and a C God. was 70, because that's how I was graded in school. I know. That's why I asked you before. Then, then it was, that, was a, that was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> I swear to God it was, and I do believe in God. We're, we're, uh, I, that's good. So here's, here's the thing. I know you've got Twitter now, so where can people find you to talk to you about fractions? What is it called? Amanda Faith724? I don't know 724? my name. At... Amanda Faith seven two four. I I have no idea. That's what that's what it is. I have I have one follower and that's you. No, you have two. I think your sister's oh, my following sister. you. Mm-hmm. I don't know my name. All right, so that is yours. I don't know. That is yours, and you can follow me at uh, Movie Cigar Beer, and you can go to moviecigarsandabrew dot com, or follow me on us on Facebook at moviecigarsandabrew dot com. Actually, I'm going to change mine to Fraction. Dot Twitter dot net dot com. Yeah, and just that, don't just don't send any bad messages to people and put an at symbol in front of it like John did in this movie. Because you being I new, know how to do that anyway. you being new could completely do that at this I'm not point. Not new. I told you I had one a long time ago, but but I you didn't know hacked. how to use it. Well, I got hacked by like somebody that was not of my country, uh-huh. and um, they followed. Lots of stuff and made me a rocket scientist. <laughs> Boy, and I like. I, I I think we've proven that that's not the case tonight. Okay. You know what? We should end this because this is getting really bad. This is getting bad. Let's just go. It's <laughs> late. Right. It's really late. This is pretty late. We listened to too much Jeff Leopard. We did. We did. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.